Hey Libra, Zachan here, Grown and Sexy Psychic, and this is going to be your love reading for the month of March 2022. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my God, my Redeemer. Also, I am fully protected from any dark magic, black magic, hexes, curses, uh, anger spears, evil eye, anything that is unwanted thrown my way. I am protected. I block any unwanted negative energy and return to sender 1000 fold. All right. I'm not the one you don't want to find out. Before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and sound this heart chakra bowl here so we can get some nice heart chakra healing and we can clear the energy from the last reading. Go ahead and allow this in, Libra. And breathe. Beautiful. So Libras, first we are going to start with your Oracle cards. And then we'll go ahead and get into your predictions, the tarot, and your guidance. All right, so let's start. Libras, I see here a lot of communication. I see here a lot of communication here with someone who is a soulmate. What's this on this card? Like some coconut oil or something. With someone who's a soulmate. Now, this may be someone that you have separated yourself from. The soulmate appears to be a friend here. So I don't feel like you're in a committed relationship with this person. I feel like this is someone who can be, once again, a friend. But this is someone that is very near and dear to your heart, I feel. Now, you could have ended your connection with this person. Or there's something about this connection that is making you feel free. Maybe you weren't feeling that way before. Maybe you're feeling constrained before in some way. However, I see here, again, a lot of communication with the soulmate. Now, it's interesting because I have two chakras that came out for you, the base chakra and the third eye chakra. So these are the energies that are going to be highlighted for you when it comes to this connection. Okay? So the base chakra, so that has to do with your roots, stability. This has to do with material. For you, this is going to have to do with possessions. So your possessions are going to be highlighted here. Belongings, finances, assets, and treasures. I also feel like somebody can be, mm, yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me show you this first. So we did have that third, third eye chakra. And we also have here the card of visualization. So do you see how we have here the moon, which is this kind of, you know, this sphere. And then we have possessions here, which is another like sphere. So I feel like you can be getting some uh, downloads, maybe around the new moon or the full moon time. Or at night, you could be getting some downloads or somebody could be using some kind of divination. This is number seven. So going inside, going within to get the answers. So somebody's going within to get the answers. I am feeling like when I look at this possessions card, for some reason, this woman, she looks um, sad. And then I just heard longing as well. So you could have been longing to hear from somebody. You could have been longing to hear from a soulmate. Okay. Okay. Um, but I do see here that energy again within the base chakra for the males that is a uh, sexual energy here. So there could be some sexual energy coming up. So the third eye chakra has to do with, of course, the, uh, the third eye, all right, the inner eye. You could be visualizing what it is that you want with a particular soulmate. Let's go ahead and go into some additional cards here to see what's going on, okay? But again, I do have here this card of friendship. There's so many hands here. Maybe there's more than one person who's involved in this situation for some of you. Let's go for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Love in the month of March, 2022. Keep visualizing, okay? If you're visualizing the best outcome with this person, I'm hearing keep doing that. Keep visualizing. Visualize what it is that you want, Libra, with your lover, with your soulmate. 
and if you don't know who this person is, visualize what you want. Okay, so you could be waiting for news. You could be waiting for communication. If you don't know who this person is, keep visualizing what you want with your ideal partner. All right. And then I'm looking here and I'm seeing this is card number one. And that's making me feel like uh, that's, that's reminding me of the energy of the magician in the tarot. So this is a time for you to manifest what it is that you want, especially with this visualization card of manifestation, of using your imagination, of using your focus to bring what it is that you want into your reality. So someone, again, could have left your life here with this freedom. And then we have the empty chair. So someone has left your life, Libra, and you are waiting for this person to contact you. You're waiting for news. You're waiting for this person. You can feel like this person is in a position of authority. So you can feel like this person is above you in some way. All right. So I have here the ant which I have the ant and the camel. So the ant is work, achievement, success. So the ants, they work really hard to build what it is that they want to build. So they continue to work. They continue to work to build what it is that they want to build. And then we have here the camel, persevere, and you will overcome problems. So that's kind of a double energy here. So there's an energy of persevering, making what you want happen. We have here a, a wish that you want being granted. All right, and then I have here two males. I have a younger man, and then I have a fair man. So you can be dealing with a man with um, light skin, light hair, lighter hair, lighter eyes, or you could be dealing with a man who's younger, okay? It doesn't have to be for all of you, but I do have that energy here. So again, I have, I think I mentioned this, I have the wishbone, a wish being granted. So if you're looking for some kind of communication, it looks like you are going to receive this communication, Okay, or some kind of wish is going to be granted in the month of March. I'm getting called for one more card here. Okay, so we have here the jug, which is a lighthearted and carefree time. So look forward to a lighthearted and carefree time. Um, and this is perfect because this is happening in the month of March. And you can have somebody who has deeper feelings for you than you know with the secret admirer card. So I like all that Libra. Let's go ahead and go into, let's look into your fortune cookie. This is for Libra, sun, moon, rising in the month of March, 2022. What's going on with Libra and their love lives? Father God, most high, please tell me what's going on with Libra, sun, Libra, moon, Libra, rising in their love lives during the month of March. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. I like that. Let's keep going. Let's get a couple more. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I like that too. I like them apples. Let's go ahead. Let's get one more for you, Libra. Oh, okay. I like these apples. Okay, check this out. First of all, we have positive work outcomes. So this is speaking of consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making. So that's the same energy that we were just talking about, saying consistent efforts will bring rewards. So if there's something that you want, Libra, this is a sign to not give up. This is a sign to not give in, not give up. Go for what it is that you want. We have the card of sunshine. Sunshine. The sun is shining on you, career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. So there's going to be really good communication for you and relationships. So the communication is going to be very positive. And it also looks like I'm hearing there's positive outcomes for the work that you do in your love life. I'm also hearing positive outcomes when it comes to your work in general, because we also have your personal riches. Small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. Finances can improve dramatically, but avoid get rich schemes. And then on the bottom here, we have the card of future. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. So we have these energies here. So that's all very, very positive. I like these energies for you, Libra. All righty, let's go ahead and go into your predictions with the Lenormand, all right? So what's gonna go on? What's going on with Libra Sun? Libra Moon, Libra Rising in the month of March, 2022. Give me something good. I wanna hear something good. Now tell me what they need to hear. Tell me what Libras need to hear. What do they need to know? What's gonna go on with Libras? What will Libras face? Let me do a five card spread. Five cards, thank you so much, Libra. Sun, Libra, Moon, Libra, Rising, March 2022. Libra, Libra, 
Give me the scales. What? Okay. All righty. Okay. Two more shuffles. And three. Libra, what's going on? Two. Three. Four. All right. Let's see here. I do feel like you had some sort of loss or some sort of isolation from someone, but with this um, with this owl cards here or with this birds card here, I do see that there is some kind of communication once again that's going to be coming up within a love situation. Okay, now this may have taken a little while for it to happen, so you may have been waiting, or this may be coming in slowly, but there is communication coming in for you. I see here a new beginning in a situation that you felt was like kind of burdensome or maybe someone like moved away or maybe you felt just like like the situation was very heavy on you. But I do see there being a new beginning here. Some of you may have children with this person. OK, not all of you, but I see this new beginning. You may be taking baby steps to move forward with this person after some heavy energy. I do see some conversation taking place. Now, this can be taking place within an intimate setting here with the parlor. With the parlor, this can be taking place in an intimate setting, taking place behind closed doors, or there's just an intimate conversation taking place. And this has to do with some kind of challenges that you've had. For some, there could have been a third party um, in this situation, but of course, not for all of you. So if that's something that you you know, that's not resonating with your situation. Don't even worry about it. Because um, the snake can sometimes represent a third party or can represent the other woman. Um, so again, if you know, if you don't know about any other woman, do not worry about it. But there can be, could have been some challenges. There could have been a lot of challenges within this situation. But you are going to be conversing about this situation with the person who's on your mind. Now, if you've had challenges with money as well, these seem to be getting better. Let's see what else we have going on here. So challenges, talk, communication about the challenges here. All right. I see a new abundant beginning with the child and the uh, and the coins here. All right. This is abundance, abundance coming in. So you could be communicating about, again, a lot of challenges, um, some burdens, communicating. I see a new beginning. You may be taking baby steps to move forward slowly in this situation. I just saw the um, Knight of Pentacles in my mind's eye. So moving forward in a, like slowly but surely. All right, let's see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Love in March. Thank you so much. Okay, we have here the mirror. So this is speaking of, so you could have been dealing with somebody who kind of has narcissistic tendencies or someone could have narcissistic tendencies in here. But I also see a reevaluation with the mirror card. There's a reevaluation and it looks like that can be um, what the conversation is about. Really looking at the situation for what it is. Um, people really looking at their, their actions here. All right, we have the boy card as well. So this is someone who is playful. This is someone who is enthusiastic. This is someone who is curious. So there's curiosity here, really looking into a situation. We have the ladder. So this is moving up in life. This is moving up, ascending in some kind of situation. This is overcoming obstacles. So you're going to be overcoming obstacles in this connection here. This is stepping up, stepping up, moving up in life, moving up in a relationship. This is high achievements. This is also a five energy. We have two five energies, speaking of change, and then we have a six energy. So that's a very positive thing. And then this just flipped over, which is another five energy. Um, Libra. So we have the moon. So this speaks of new cycles, new cycles in a connection. You could be speaking about some kind of dark emotions, some difficult emotions that have taken place within this connection. We have also the card of the house, number 28 here. And then we have flipped over. I'm going to take these and then go to another deck. We have here the, um, the water and the heart cards. So with this house card, eight, nine, 10, so we have a new cycle here. We have a new cycle of stability. We have a new cycle of feeling safe. This can represent um, family. This can represent a close relationship. This can represent um, 
you know, also a conversation taking place at your house. There's changes here. There's purification of challenging energies, um, purification of challenging emotions. Um, there's mysterious feelings that can be going on here, but there's a highlight on thoughts that were hidden before. There's a lot of energy here when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to love, when it comes to affections and romance, when it comes to this heart card. This is also number 11. So there's some spiritual growth that could be taking place for you as well, Libra. I got the urge to look on the bottom of the deck. So this is the iceberg card number 53. And this is speaking of, again, the subconscious. So the subconscious is going to be made conscious during the month of March in this conversation. So you guys are going to be talking about things that have been hidden, things that have been below the surface, things that have been kept secret. You're going to be talking about hidden emotions. And it's going to come out that things have been much deeper than you have known, than you have thought in the past, Libras. So let's see what's going on. Libras in the month of March, present they're dealing with. What, what messages do you have there for them? What's going to be going on for Libras in the month of March 2022? Thank you so much. Okay, so it looks like someone, okay, so someone's been tired and weary. So this could be you. This could be the person that you're involved with. Someone was tired and weary, and they're going to be moving on from that energy. Whoa. I think there's a motorcycle that just sound, but it sounded like a freaking dragon, like growling or something. Someone is going to become more genuine and authentic as they have been growing. They have been growing ex and expanding spiritually. So you're going to be enjoying each other's company because someone has leveled up. All right. And someone is forgiving themselves. Forgiveness is essential. You're also going to be spending time with someone. All right. Maybe you have been avoiding issues in the past. Somebody has been heartbroken and full of pain. OK, because they've been ha uh, avoiding issues. They've been avoiding handling issues here. But there's going to be some kind of message out of the blue that comes, Libra. Some message out of the blue. And it's likely going to change your life. It's going to uh, it's going to create a life overhaul here for you. Excuse me, one card fell. There are more lessons to be learned here. And it looks like these lessons have to deal with self-worth issues. So that's what you're going to be working on. Uh, self-worth issues. Someone's been wearing their heart on their sleeve, but they've also been repeating old patterns. All right. So again, during the month of March, this is a time to work on these self-esteem, uh, self-worth. I just said self-esteem. I didn't mean to say that, but that could be relevant as well. Self-esteem, self-worth issues. Um, this is a good time to be light and breezy. Know that your story with this person is not over. OK, this story is not over with this person. Let's take out the tarot. So someone from the past could be returning here. An old partner, an old soulmate. All right, so let's see what's going on with Libra Sun Moon Rising. Whoop, okay. Yeah, someone's coming back. Okay, come here, card. Come here, come hither. All right, so someone's going to be coming back. They could be apologizing. I fucked up, the five of flutes, saying that I fucked up. I was wrong. I was wrong for what I did. I was wrong for what I said. I was wrong you know, for how I came across this person. It looks like this person has really been um, in their head about it. They've been in their head about a situation. Somebody's been in their head, all right? Somebody's been in their head and they realize what they have been doing wrong. They've been feeling stuck. They've been having a lot of anxiety. They're having a lot of anxiety. They're having a lot of confusion about you, about a certain situation, um, about whatever has gone on with you. Now let's go ahead and see what's happening here. Libra, sun, Libra, moon, Libra, rising, March 2022, love and romance. What's part of my doing? Okay. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on with Libra, sun, moon, rising. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we have here the four of rings. So it looks like someone could be still possessive over you, or maybe you're still possessive over somebody. But somebody is feeling quite possessive. Someone doesn't want to let you go. They've been thinking about you. They've been thinking about you a lot. This is also time a time to reflect. This is a time to reflect, okay? Let's see. Please clarify the Queen of Rings. Thank you so much. All right. So it looks like somebody could be um, 
coming towards you, reaching out towards you with some kind of news. They go, they want, they want to offer you something. Uh, someone can also be like leaving a relationship or leaving something behind. It may be very difficult for them with the free spirit. And then we have here a shoulder to cry on with the ten of roses. So we have here the the page of roses and the ten of roses. So somebody is stepping out, they're becoming a free spirit. And we also have that card of freedom. So this can even be you, this can be your energy feeling free. And this person coming back can be a shoulder for you to cry on, or you can be this person's shoulder to cry on. And then we also have here the king, uh, excuse me, the queen of, um, hold on one second. Okay, so somebody has been feeling burdened. Somebody's been feeling burdened. But then we have someone who's going to comfort that other person. So that can be you. So it can even be somebody like left a situation that was difficult for them. And now they're returning to you because they need a shoulder to cry on. Because now they are single with this queen of um, rings here. Now they could be single, but they still feel like they have a lot to offer. All right. So we have that situation going on there. Yeah. Somebody wants to come back and like rekindle a friendship with you. With this uh, three of flutes, somebody wants to come back and have some kind of celebration, have some kind of reunion. This person wants to have some kind of fun with you, all right? There could have been some um, some kind of, uh, you know, somebody needed to like stand up for themselves. There was some drama that's taking place here, but now it looks like somebody is now choosing you. So there's been some kind of drama here, but now somebody is choosing you. Yes, there has been some kind of deception here. There's been some kind of, some kind of deception with the five of mirrors. Um, and it's interesting because now we have these two cards, the eight of mirrors, which already came out. And then the um, the death card here, the end in reverse. So somebody's coming out of confusion with you and somebody can be returning. There's like a chapter that's not, that's not over here. There's a chapter that's not over. Things have maybe come to a stalemate with you and this person, but now things are going to be moving forward. So now we have a new, like an offer, a new connection, something new that's coming in after someone has learned what it is that they want, what it is that they desire, and they've decided to leave behind a situation and come to you, Libra. So that's what I'm seeing going on here for you. Okay, so Libras, let's go ahead and go into your guidance here. We're going to start with your guidance. Actually, let's go here. I'm going to go here first. Libra, sun, moon, rising in March 2022. What's going on? Libra, sun, Libra, moon, Libra, rising in love, March 2022. Thank you so much. Healing with nature. Your soul years to be outside in nature around the healing waters, flowers, and trees. So being outside in nature could be very good for you. You may want to take, um, you know, a salt bath. If you can get in the ocean, do that. If you can stick your bare feet in the earth, okay, whether this be in your backyard, out in the forest, whatever it is, it's a good idea for you to be out in nature. Universal flow we have. We have another energy of you going within as well. It is time for you to slow down, breathe, and take some time to smell the roses. So we have more energy about like um, about uh, nature, roses, taking time to stop and smell the roses. So you may have been, you know, going too fast in your life, and now's the time to slow down and really take in what is going on. And this is also a time to assess your limiting beliefs. Assess your limiting beliefs, Libra. This situation calls for reprogramming your belief system. This is a good time for you to reprogram. What you believe when it comes to love and romance, reprogram your belief system. All right, let's go into your last guidance card and then we'll go into your affirmation and that'll wrap up your reading. Libra, sun, moon, rising, March 2022. What's going on with Libra? Sun, moon, rising, March 2022. Libra, sun, Libra, moon, Libra, rising, March 2022. All right, we have here Unikite, which is this lovely stone here this lovely stone. So this has to do with the heart chakra. So there's some heart chakra healing that's needing to take place. So you could experience some emotional upsets during the month of March. It says, are you, are you having emotional upsets? Are you able to swallow what's happening in your life? Balance yourself through self nurturing activities, watch your diet, embrace your emotions. Imagine the food you eat provides all the nutrients necessary for good health. It's funny. Cause I was thinking twice, like I'm hungry, I'm hungry. So this is a good month for you to practice eating healthy foods, maybe changing your diet or changing what you put in your body. 
The angel of balanced emotions. Excuse me, guys. I nurture myself. I enjoy healthy foods. I explore avenues for coping with emotional upset so I can absorb all that occurs with ease and grace. My digestive system appreciates the steps I take to balance my emotions and responds with working optimally. All right, so those are some affirmations for you. Now let's go ahead and go into your affirmator card and this will wrap up your reading. So this is for Libra, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Rising Love, March 2022. Father God, most high, please give me the affirmation. Thank you so much. We have here a uh, love and relationships affirmation for you, affirmative for you. And this says, my best self. And this card reads, I trust that when I'm doing what's best for me and being the happiest version of myself, the right sorts of relationships will appear in my life. That means I can let go of all my worries about the future, knowing that my only job is to be happy in this moment while simultaneously attaining a cosmic level of enlightened awareness and total psychological self-actualization. Ah, so this is a time to focus on being your best self. Be your best self, you know, by taking care of yourself, by looking at your limiting beliefs, by working on healing your energy through nature, also by communicating in the best way possible when this person does come in. Those things are going to be very important for you. Okay, Libras, so those are the messages that I have for you. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. Thumbs up and like this reading if it resonates with you. Also, go ahead and comment and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all the support so much. You can also check out your sun, moon, or rising sign videos as well. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, check the description box for all those details. I'm sending you love and light and can't wait to see you here again soon. Bye, Libras.